Good evening, I'm Deborah Knapp. And I'm Aaron Wright. DEA agents find thousands of counterfeit Adderall pills during a drug bust. A lecturer at the University of Texas San Antonio was among the two suspects arrested this evening. The pair is accused of making fake Adderall pills using meth and selling them to students at college campuses here and across the country. Eyewitness News reporter Roxy Bustamante with what the DEA is calling a potentially deadly drug operation. A drug bust just a mile away from UT San Antonio. Basically, they had one room that was sealed off, something you'd see in a movie, all sealed in plastic uh, with their manufacturing operation going on. He says at least 20 to 40,000 pills were found. The people making them were using meth and disguising it as Adderall pills. We don't know what we're dealing with, so we are going to go over the top to take safety precautions. On the off chance, there is a poison or a toxic substance or even something like fentanyl that could kill you if you're exposed to it. Local DEA agents say this has been an ongoing investigation. The two suspects arrested, a UTSA lecturer, Rose Rodriguez Rabin, and Brandon Sims. They believe the pair were selling the fake pills to students at UTSA, UT Austin, and other colleges without the students knowing exactly what they were getting. If it's not prescribed to you by a doctor and you use it, that's dangerous. Now we're talking about counterfeit pills that are being made with methamphetamine, a illegal, an illegal federal narcotic, as well as who knows what else they're doing when they're making these things in a bathroom, in a garage, in a warehouse. Roxy Bustamante joins us live. Roxy, has UTSA had anything to say about the employee who was arrested? Yes, Deborah, the university confirmed that Rose Rodriguez is an employee with UTSA's writing program, and she has since been suspended following tonight's arrest. Now, they did send us a release, and in it, it states that the UTSA Police Department is working closely with federal law enforcement officials to determine if the allegations against her extend to any criminal activity on our campuses. Now I'm also told that both suspects are in custody of the U.S. Marshals and are currently at the Guadalupe County Jail tonight. Reporting live, Roxy Bustamante, Kens 5 Eyewitness News.